So when viewing your drawings in the 3D space, um, sometimes you can be a little bit curious of why some objects are appearing the way they are within drawings. Well, what you can do that makes this helpful sometimes is to, to give the view a little rotate and you can give a, a clearer, more three-dimensional perspective on what might be happening with your drawings. So to be able to do that, quite simply, in this case, you can either go for the rotate view tool up here, or what I do is a shift and middle mouse key, holding the middle mouse key down, and I give it a little rotate. And then well, we can we can zoom in and see you know exactly what's going on there with with, with some of these features. So, um, good handy way of, um, of 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 seeing what's going on with some of the drawings. And to get back to the top, you can either reach for the uh, view control up here again, or in this case, shift and control, click right click once and hit the top. We've touched on this already, but when we want, when we have a view evoked, um, re symbolization and, and a clip and so forth, we want to, we might want to remove that back to the original um, view of the model. So in order to do that, we use the clear clip volume tool, and that can be gained from the the, the view control uh, menu. Alternatively, um, it's on the view tab of the, the ribbon. So let's have a look at how that works. So in our view, we have some re-symbolization here. We have widgets, and we have re-symbolized beam lines. And just to double check that, let's have a look at our view attributes. OK, so. We definitely have a clip here, and we have um, building representation. So in order to send that back to, with no clipping and no re-symbolization, up on the, the view tab, we have the clear clip volume tool. Alternatively, it's located here on our um, view control here. And we just click on the screen. And that sends us back to a view that contains no clipping in the original elements. And of course, if we change the display style, say to something like illustration, we can see that a little bit more clearly and uh, we can tell that there's, there's no clipping in play. Okay, with the uh, clips um, and the clipping boundaries around your, your drawings, which are uh, guided by your call outs on screen, um, you'll notice uh, toggles that you can uh, move and uh, edit and, and, and alter uh, in their appearance. And they're particularly evident uh, and used when you're using the, the detail call out, detailing out a particular area of your model. So let's um, take a look at uh, how they work. The, <clears throat> the clipping call outs, um, particularly the blue ones, govern the edges or boundaries uh, of your of your clip and the green ones govern um, where the cut may be whether that be in plan or in section you'll notice a difference between the two uh, between the the blue uh, clipping widgets one is shaped like a, a T and that indicates a cut at that point the other is like an arrow and that means that the the clipping is not in play and it goes to an infinite state. And these handles can be pulled and pushed back and forth to uh, change those clipping boundaries along with the green, which can be pulled and pushed to change that um, cut uh, plane as well. So let's take a look at how, at how this would work. Let's move to our model and we might rotate to a top view and place a detail clip around a certain area. So we'll go to Drawing Production tab up here, and we'll use the detail uh, call out here. And like always, we choose a seed. In this case, the one available is the Detail View Seed 3D. Here we can take a height from the view, or we can take it from the entire model, or we can define uh, a height itself. Okay, in this case, we might choose from the model. And we have different shaped uh, boundaries that we can use to clip, circle, ellipse, 
rectangle or we can use uh, an existing boundary or shape that's in our drawing. We use the, the rectangle for this purpose and we'll define a clip or a section or a detail around the stair here. And then it asks us to place our, I call that head. And you right mouse click to, to finish that process. And again, we get the create drawing dialog box. And we might give that a name detail one. And again, copy that name and create ourselves a, a new drawing model in the drawings folder. And we'll call that detail one and hit save. And we won't create a sheet. And we'll just uncheck open model for now because we may want to adjust those uh, clipping boundaries with the blue and green widgets. Hit OK. OK, so we have our, our clipping boundary. And again, like we say, the blue widget here with a T means that we have a clipping boundary and we can move that back and forth like so. We could also hover over and apply the detail. So we'll just check our settings here. We might just turn camera position off. Okay. So we'll just make sure that that clipping boundary is in play by clicking like so. So we can see that clip and we can see the uh, the clipping result. For the purpose of this exercise, just to save confusion, we'll set the, the grid back to none so we don't see it. Now, like always, the view attributes um, will govern the look and feel of, of our detail boundary. So under structural, we we don't have any rules attached. What we might just do is here are our list of rules that um, come from um, our library. So what we might do is just add, say, themes four as an example. So if we add that to view, you can see now that our uh, widgets get added and standard beams replaced with uh, with widget styles. So um, you know what we need to do now obviously once we've added that we need to make sure that we up, update our save view so we click on the screen and uh, that view should be updated so again what we can do if we're not happy with the depth project projection of this you know we can rotate around and have a look at how far the extents and cut occurs in our model so um, what we might do is rotate to a front view and uh, we can click our now our detail call out there and you'll see the the blue and the um, the blue widget so we can pull that up and down if we want to pull this one up to affect the extents of how far down we want to see again uh, we can we can do that and uh, so we just rotate to a its alt view and there's a, a, a drawing of a detail. And just to double check that, um, again, date save view settings will store those changes. So looking um, at one of the, the larger um, Drawing type, so say the uh, the plan callout. Let's let's use the plan callout here and and click on the screen. And what we have here is our callout down here. And if we rotate to a a front view, we can see where that is is clipping through. Again, we mentioned the 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 green widget which allows us to pull the the clipping the clipping plane up or down it also has the ability to hold right click down on it and and flip the direction okay so if we want to look up rather than down 
With our blue extends toggles, you can see the arrow uh, on this one. This means it goes to infinity. This one is a T-junction type, which means it has a, a clipping uh, plane. So if we pull that up uh, to say there, let me just zoom out again. And just hover over your um, mini collar and just hit the clip button. And you'll see that that's clipped that up to the to the top there. Uh, with your toggles here, you can right click over them. You can say toggle clipping on just this one only. Clip all sides, so it'll turn it into that T type uh, widget, or unclip all sides. So you could say toggle clipping on that one as an example, and now it becomes a T. And if we wanted to bring that back in. Um, you know we can we can do as such and uh, and then let's rotate to a uh, top view there and you can see that um, that all clipped up there and of course um, if we weren't happy with that clipping boundary in the top view again we can still move it around a bit and and, and change that um, that clipping of course at the end we may want to then um, just update our save view and we can update our, our plan one so let's just click on the screen and um, and we're good to go so just double check that by saying let's do plan 01 and plan dash one we're good to go and that's all stored If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.